2018 began with Career's first new board chair in 20 years. Jim Carter took over from Eric Newell. Both worked to bring careers to life with a simple formula. You're helping young people in this particular case where we're taking job opportunities that exist. We're taking young people that are coming through the system that want to get a job, don't necessarily understand the opportunities that are over here. And you put the two together and then you give them that opportunity to learn and to decide on a future for themselves. A concept that careers held steadfast to, connecting students to employers providing over 1,500 internships. I feel very fortunate because I'll be ahead of the game. Yeah, this could be my future. From experience to exploration and awareness, the dog days of summer didn't affect the popularity of the Careers Health Academy. Six camps were held throughout the province, giving over 170 students hands-on training in a variety of different healthcare occupations. I love this. Like I've been looking forward to this all summer because the people come in who actually work in that position, and so they can show you exactly what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what I like to see is like, what would I be doing if I was in that position? And it's a lot of hands-on stuff, so you actually get to experience it for yourself. The Young Women in Trades and Technology camps were also held across Alberta, giving over 80 female students the chance to experience everything from working on vehicles to electrical and welding trades. Ready? Some even racing around town to try different trades. I think it just really gives you um, some confidence and it's, it, it's, just, it's a good motivator. It makes me feel better because it doesn't make me feel like I'm going to be the only girl in a trade. Forestry trades took the spotlight at Narrow Lake in Athabasca. The Forestry Futures Alliance, a partnership between careers, inside education and work wild, held a three-day camp for a dozen Indigenous students, igniting a passion for forestry trades and even creating new friendships. At first I didn't really know what a trades camp was because usually you go to school to go into trades, but here it just gives you an introduction to all the trades, uh, which really helps. It just made me a lot more open to other other job opportunities. But I've been to camps, yeah, but I haven't actually been to a camp like this. It's a perfect experience to actually just come here and get to learn about what you want to do for the future. The awareness, exploration and experience continued with career expos in Red Deer and Fort McMurray. Collectively, they brought together over 5,000 students and 115 exhibitors, as well as parents, post-secondary institutions and members of the community. It's overwhelming the reaction we're getting. The kids are excited. I think it's important because a lot of the kids nowadays are afraid of what they'll be in the future, but what happens after high school and all that kind of stuff. But getting to be here and knowing someone that's been through all that struggle can actually help them and can tell them all their experience and achieve that goal one day. 2018 was also a successful year for the annual Eric Newell Kids and Careers Golf Classic. This is our largest turnout in years. Not only were the conditions perfect, careers raised $110,000 to continue supporting high school students on their path to success. Summer moved into fall, however, careers kept the opportunities sizzling. A partnership with Earl's gave students a taste for the cooking trade. The cook trade is, uh, is, is kind of like left behind in the dust a little bit because um, people don't understand what you can learn. It's not just cooking and it's not just food. And the RV Tech Showcase got the wheels turning. I really like it. It's, it's nice because it's hands-on and it's something that I actually enjoy doing and it's like it's I, I bought myself an RV and I've been rebuilding that in my free time so it's like I must like it. Another special event was held in Fort McMurray. Since the devastating wildfires in 2016, Careers has been committed to including youth in efforts to get the community back on its feet. Rebuilding Fort McMurray, creating youth futures would not have been possible without United Way Fort McMurray, the Canadian Red Cross and all our partners and friends. A donor appreciation event was held to recognize everyone who made this initiative such a tremendous success. It's been phenomenal. It's changed my life in, in so many ways. It's a new place, uh, a new start. Uh, I finally have the opportunity to grow 
in the community and now I could see myself doing this long term, definitely. Throughout the year, there are always those individuals who stand out, who go the extra distance. The Careers Awards of Excellence recognize the incredible students, mentors, and off-campus coordinators involved in trades, technologies, and healthcare, including the recipient of this year's John Aldred Ambassador of Excellence Award, a leader in the community, responsible for taking over 60 RAP students throughout his distinguished career. Well, I think it's very simple. If you don't, you'll probably perish. You have to have that new next generation, uh, both from a, a mindset point of view, from a culture point of view. And finally, none of this would be possible without our partners, donors, and friends. A huge thank you from Careers for making 2018 such a huge success.